Today is the feast of Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael Archangels. Let us all stand for the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in power, fulfilling his word and heeding his voice. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together we say, I confess to Almighty to God, Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I that have I greatly in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and with, uh, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my most, through my most greatest spirit, fault. Spirit. Therefore, I ask, I ask blessed and ever, ever, ever virgin, all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvelous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. As Daniel watched, thrones were set up, and the ancient one took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire, with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened, and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like a son of man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the ancient one and was presented before him, he received dominion, glory, and kingship. Nations and people of every language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let our response be. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. 
in the sight of your angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things, your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord. When they hear the words of your mouth, and they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, his ministers who do his will. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ngayong araw na ito ay pinagdiriwang natin ang kapistahan ng tatlong banal na arkanghel na sina Miguel, San Miguel, San Gabriel at San Rafael. Ngayong araw na ito ay ako'y nagdiriwang ng aming kapistahan ng aming patron na si San Gabriel. Mga kapatid, dahil kong imbitahan kayong lahat na pagnilayan po natin ang mga buhay at mga aral na itinuturo sa atin ng dakilang mga uh, arkanghel na kilala natin at narinig at nakita natin ng buhay sa Biblia. Una po ay si San Miguel. Ang pangalang San Miguel ay nangangahulugang ang katulad ng Diyos. Siya ay kilala bilang tagapagtanggol ng langit. Siya ay prinsipe ng mga anghel at nagsisilbing sandata laban sa kasamaang dulot ng itinalsik na arkanghel na si Lucifer o mas kilala natin bilang si Satanas. Totoo na nangyari ang digmaan sa pagitan ng kalangitan at impyerno. At kasabay ng Panginoong Yesus ay si San Miguel na namumuno sa mga kawal ng anghel upang hindi maghari ang kasamaan sa lupa. Si San Gabriel naman po, ang kahulugan naman po ng kanyang pangalan ay lakas ng Diyos, kilala bilang mensahero ng Panginoon. Siya mismong nagbalita tungkol sa katuparan ng kaligtasan ng Amang Diyos nang nagpakita siya kay Sakarias at sa ating inang Birheng Maria. Sinasabi rin na siya yung anghel na nagpalakas ng loob sa ating Panginoong Yesus nang inihahanda niya ang kanyang sarili para sa misteryong Paskwal sa hardin ng Getsemani. Si San Rafael naman po, ang ibig sabihin ay tagagamot ng Diyos. Siya ay kilala bilang anghel na nagpapagaling. Makikita natin sa aklat ni Tobit kung paano niya pinagaling si Tobias mula sa pagkabulag nito. Maraming himala tungkol sa pagpapagaling ang inialay sa kanyang karangalan. Mga kapatid, ang tatlong arkanghel ay nagsisalbing gabay sa atin upang sundin ang kalooban ng Panginoon. Makikita sa Ebanghelyo ang pagtawag ni Jesus kay Nathaniel na ngayon ay kilala natin bilang si San Bartolome sa ilalim ng puno ng igos. Matapos ipinahayag ng apostol tungkol sa kanya bilang anak ng Diyos, sinugurado ni Jesus na makikita niya balang araw na magbubukas ang langit at ang mga anghel ay kapiling ang anak na ng tao. Kaya pinaghahandaan tayo ng kapistahang ito sa muling pagparito ng Panginoon sa katapusan ng panahon. Ipinapaalala sa atin ng mga anghel 
na naway patuloy tayo sa pagsunod sa plano at kagustuhan ng Diyos at sa pagpapalaganap ng kanyang pagmamahal at mabuting balita sa ibang tao. Ang mga anghel ay itinalaga ng Diyos upang tayo ay samahan at gabayan. Nawa sa ating mga gagawin sa ating buhay, huwag sana, huwag sana nating kalimutan na tayo ay humingi palagi ng tulong at paggabay sa ating mga anghel. Silang nag-iingat sa atin sa kapahamakan, sila ang nagbibigay ng liwanag sa ating kaisipan, sila ang nagbibigay ng lakas ng ating loob upang tayo ay patuloy na manindigan na gawin ang tama at mabuti. Kaya naman sana sa ating pananalangin, hingin din natin sa ating Panginoong Yesus na tayo ay palagi ding maging bukas ang puso at kalooban sa anumang paggabay at paghubog na ginagawa sa atin ng ating mga dakilang anghel. Nawa ang bawat isa ay maging anghel din sa bawat isa. Ano kapag nararamdaman natin ang malasakit sa kapwa o ang pagmamahal ng ating kapwa para na rin natin nararanasan ang kabutihan ng mga anghel. So ang bawat isa ay pwedeng maging anghel sa kanyang kapwa. Amen. Let us now proceed to the prayers of the faithful. For every petition, let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. May Saint Michael watch over God's people and protect them against Satan and the devils. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May Saint Gabriel, the angel of Annunciation, help us to listen to the word of God and to put it into practice. We pray. Lord, hear our prayers. May Saint Ma Raphael, the angel of healing, guard us in our journey, heal the sick, and expel demons that are meant God's people. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we be aware of the invisible presence of angels and invoke their help in our struggle against evil. And may they guide us safely along the roads of our lives. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May angels lead the souls of the departed into paradise to adore God together with them and all the saints. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intention. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We will now proceed to the liturgy of the Eucharist. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the, wine, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of His Holy Church. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly, and treating that as these gifts are born by the ministry of, the, of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honor we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight, redounds to your own surpassing glory, and by their great dignity and splendor, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him, the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exultant adoration, and with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the truthful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Francisco, our Bishop, Noli, his auxiliary Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, Father who, art in heaven. who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. That, and we, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, by peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on Have us. Mercy. Lamb of, Lamb God, of you God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you. Let us pray. Having been nourished with you with heavenly bread, we beseech you, Humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So once again, good morning and good afternoon to everyone. Nawa ang bawat isa ay maging tunay na anghel sa bawat isa. Magingat po kayo palagi. <laughs>